Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the boatyard here at Cameron House Marina. My name is Ruben Marshall, I'm the sales manager here at Marine Sales Scotland. Behind me is a brand new Bayliner CRA. She's a 2022 model, the very first to touch down here with us here at Marine Sales Scotland. She's fresh in the wrap, only hours from the factory. What we're going to do is we're going to unbag her, unleash her, and we'll show you all around inside this fabulous family cruiser. So the very first thing that I noticed, the very first difference that you'll pick up on between this and model year 2021 is the distinctive futuristic glass line on the hull. So what was before just this and nothing else and around porthole here has now become this huge single piece glass effect on the outside brings it up to the sort of same standard as your futuristic modern super yachts. You've also got that extension on the rubble on the hull just above the rubbing strip as well. So we've got a bow thruster underneath for ease of manoeuvring when you are going in and out of your marinas. And then all of the stainless steel up top there as part of the stainless steel package uh, which we have added to the boat as well. Now, as we move up onto the back, so we've got fitted underneath on either side, you can see we've got hydraulic trim tabs. It's a Bravel three leg because the engine is a 6.2, 300 horsepower Mercruiser. Cruiser. You've got your reboarding ladder here up onto the swim platform. What we'll do next is we'll get the canopy on and then we'll jump up and show you the rest of the boat. Now the weather has drastically changed, but there's no better way than rain to demonstrate the importance of an all over full canvas enclosure. Now at the back here, the swim platform is extended. They all come as standard with an extended swim platform. We've just gone for the teak option. Now that, a lot of people baffles them. What is it? Is it drainage? Well, what it is, is it gives you access if you are going swimming to have a look at where the angle of the prop and the drive leg is. Also, if you are coming out and reboarding and you're not using the reboarding ladder and the purpose built handrail, you can grab on to one of those there as well if you're sat in the swim platform as well it's just a nice little place to be able to hold on to for stability so let's move in now the very first thing you probably won't be able to pick this up on camera but it's the smell the unmistakable smell of something that is brand spanking new it's fresh it's crisp and it's very very identical to the smell of a brand new car for those of us lucky enough to have experienced that a few times Options wise, so we have spec this with the cockpit entertainment centre now though what that consists of is a fridge slash freezer Now just bear in mind this is fresh cut out of the bag So we've not taken any of the cellophane off We've not unwrapped everything just so you can see how brand spanking new it is You also get a cold water enamel sink up the top and then there is your Kenyan all-electric cooker Now tucked away behind the work We've got a transom hot and cold shower, so if you do decide to go for a dip off the back on the swim platform, you can rinse down. Rinse the kids down, rinse the dog down. Also, what a lot of people do as well, they'll use that to rinse the decks down after a long day. For those of you well-seasoned boaters, you'll know what your boat can become after the full team have been out on it for the day. So what I'll do is I'll show you the number of configurations that you can really have in this aft area here. The boat is really well suited to entertaining in and it's a, an all-round sort of sports cruiser designed for families, couples, friends alike. What I'll do is I'll put the table in, I'll show you what you can do with that and then we'll move this back and forward to show you the different settings you can have. So it rotates and it flips out. Now where did it come from? Well, it came from this absolutely huge storage locker tucked away in there. Now this is the dedicated storage locker for the table and the leg. You can see the two brackets there where the leg will go very, very good as well if you want to store the kids' wetsuits in there, inflatables, that sort of thing. All that black bag is, is the cover to keep your teak table nice and clean. We'll remove that again, you get the gist of it, and then we'll, we'll pull this down and show you the number of different configurations you can have. You can use it as a day bed, it's actually quite a nice option. So now you've got this huge area at the back, when, when you pop the canopies off and take the top off, you've got that coupled with, oh, let me wipe the camera down a little bit, with the very large four deck sunbathing area, you've got two huge areas to relax and enjoy the weather in. This is direct access onto the swim platform, so you can literally just jump straight off of here into the water to cool down. And underneath, there's also a huge storage locker, perfect for fenders, perfect for ropes. As you can see, we're storing the shore power cable in there as well that does come with the boat brand new as you would expect 
Now, another setting that we can do, so how you utilize this is you pull it towards you, you lift it up and it clicks once into place. And now you've got this great aft facing bench seat. Remember, this is a sports cruiser. So if you are towing someone behind you, which you can do if you use a Y piece, you now have a great view of whoever's in the water. Again, to put this back into its original setting, lift and slide. Notice the, the cross stitching all the way throughout the upholstery. You can see it there, you can see it there again. Port side, we've got a very comfortable, let me take a seat in it, chaise lounge. And what we've got here is we've got twin cup holders. That is just a natural skylight to let more light flood in to the cabin down below. And then we've got storage for a phone or a tablet here. And then if you have oversized items like a bigger cup, a bigger mug, a bigger wine glass, well that can go there instead. Now this is just opposite the helm position and it's a very user friendly, very beginner friendly as well helm. Now let's start off with here when we were talking about beginner friendly and user friendly, a bow thruster, such an important thing to have if you are going in and out of a tight marina space. We've also got an electric windlass, we've got an electric hatch lift and then all your little things like your courtesy lights, so that's blue LED mood lights that sit along the bottom of the gel coat just above the teak cockpit floor there and then we've got over on this side a port and starboard hydraulic trim tabs now the main focal feature here is the simrad evolution 3 multifunction touchscreen display so that replaces all your typical and traditional analog gauges so you used to have two here two here and then speed and depth here as well but that replaces all of them on top of that you've also got a gps and a chart plotter and a sonar suite so you get a topography of the ground underneath now access out onto the bow is over these two steps out over the molding release the front window and boom straight out onto the four deck sunbathing area we do have a big window wiper on the starboard side there and then you've got those huge grab rails so if you do go up onto the bow you do have little kids out there as well unzip this and I can see it is a great space but most importantly it's a very very safe space for everyone involved next up let's take a little look downstairs so two floating steps take us down and the, the, the entire deck is carpeted to give it that homely feel the headlining is all insulated it's also all finished in full leather really gives it an, an airy feel that is exactly what bayliner have tried to do here to make it feel as expansive as bright and as airy as possible where you are down in this space so the very first thing to cover here is this space in front of me now what you can do is you can use it for storage underneath you can also use it as a berth it comes with a table as well so you can use it to dine in i'll show you all of those things right now so an enormous amount of storage for the weekend. Look at the depth and size of those lockers there. That coupled with all the things you have in the galley and all those big storage lockers you have up top really, really sets this leaps and bounds ahead of the competition. Right, we'll get this back in again and we'll show you what it looks like as a, as a berth conversion. We've got it in the berth right now, as you can see, very, very long, loads of width as well. I've spent the past four or five minutes crawling over this, trying to see if I can topple it, but no, it's very, very sturdy, but also very soft and comfortable as well. Right, next up, we'll restore it back into the table position and we will get on with the rest of the boat. So back in the table setting, right, that will flip back and forwards to give you ease of access around to the side. Now, if I go and sit here, what I really do like about these bayliners is you've got twin tiered windows. They are frameless and they are panoramic. So what I also like about it as well is that this is an eye line. So on most competitors, you would only have this one. If that, you might only have a porthole on some of them, but you've got great views out scoping over the landscape or the waterways wherever it is you are you've got an opening porthole there as well but it just means that if anyone is slightly claustrophobic we'll look at all the natural light you've got coming in here you've got your escape hatch you've got that there you've got that coming from there you can leave the door open as well and then you've got another 20 yard window system just behind me as well so a great open and airy feel now coming onto the galley then, what we've got is we've got another Kenyan electric burner. So you've got your one up top, but you've also got another one down here. This fridge has a slightly bigger freezer compartment than the one in the cockpit wet bar. 
it is 12 volt as well so you can run them both while you are out on the islands under battery power and then you've got a hot and cold stainless steel sink here your 240 volt electrical panel is tucked away in there and behind this glass panel you've got a bluetooth stereo system that also has AM, FM, radio and DAB should you be lucky enough to get signal for it. Now you've got recessed storage down here for any sauces, jars, cups, the likes of that thing. You also have storage tucked away behind here. And one thing that I do like about this as well is you have the option to extend the galley should you want to. Gives you a larger worktop. And then lots of storage in here as well. These three lockers and then obviously you saw all of the storage there. Other than the VR6 Cuddy This is the only boat that Bayline are currently build With an enclosed heads What you've got is you've got a, an electric flush toilet That has a waste tank You've also got a macerator to discharge it out over to sea as well We've got a teak tabletop there And then that pulls out clips on there And that forms your shower in the wet head We've got storage slash a trash receptacle in there and then there is more storage up the top as well. Now, these on the 2021 and prior Bayliner models came as standard in a wooden effect, but what they were finding is that they were getting scratched. So now that they're darker, scratches are, are less apparent on them and they're a more hard wearing, durable material. So let's take a little look in here. This is the aft berth loads of space six foot three inches worth of length and then enough to get two adults and a child in there as well loads of storage up the back you've also got a recessed shelf area there and then as you would expect the hull is stepped to allow you to sit up and read at night or sit on your phone if you want to do that you've got a privacy curtain which you can pull across there is another one just here as well so this is normally the bit where we'd show you the engine but before we do that, let me show you. Now, as I said, the boat is just fresh from the factory, so we haven't yet fitted the propellers. So this is how we get them. We've got two of them. They are stainless steel Bravo 3 counter-rotating propellers, which give the boat great grip uh, under the water, especially at slow speed. That means you don't get as much prop wash. Now, the engine lives in there. It's an electric lift hatch. But as I said, there's no batteries in the boat yet. No circuit going through it at all because it hasn't yet been PDI'd. So I'm afraid, folks, you're just going to have to wait on that one until next time now up next for this sierra 8 well we're going to get her launched in the water we're going to get her fully pdi that's called a pre-delivery inspection that's where we fully sea trial her get batteries in her, uh, get batteries in her get fuel into the engine and give her a run up make sure everything is connected and everything is good to go if you're very lucky you might see her before then you're always welcome to come down and see us here at marine sales scotland i'm ruben from marine sales scotland we're fun in the water begins